So a couple of years ago, I started making these plaster journals that um, encompasses um, wood, plaster, fabric, doilies, anything I could get my hands on to create these journals. And I've had a lot of fun making them and I've had a good response to these journals. So I've also had a lot of requests of, well, how do you make them? What goes into making it and how can I make them? And so I have, you know, delayed and delayed putting this workshop together. Um, but I have finally put it together for those of you that have been asking. And um, I'll be showing all aspects of how I put these together. Now, this is the, the size of the ones that I usually sell. And um, you've seen these before. Most of you have. Um, so I'm not going to go into this one because um, I'm going to show you the ones that we're actually going to make inside of the workshop. We're going to make these four different journals. And the first one is basically showing you how to uh, make a cover for your plaster journal if you want like a traditional type journal. So we'll be making this one. And this one has the, um, has papers and fabrics that we have plastered. So that will be one that we make. We also are going to um, be learning how to make a, um, a cover that is made from a book that we can then attach to any other kinds of journals that we may have to transform it into one that um, looks like it's a plaster journal. So we'll be making this. Then I thought, well, why don't we show how to make a different type of cover to put this on? And we are going to make this together, which um, is quite fun. So we'll learn how to make the outer part of this journal, the inside being the same pretty much as the first one that we make. So we're concentrating on the plaster parts. Then um, we'll learn how to um, do different kinds of textures with um, different types of implements. And um, I'll also show how we are going to um, do this kind of trim along the edges of the journals like I do on these with the wire. But we'll do it on the smaller scale um, with this particular so small this journal particular that we this particular one, it has craft paper, and I went ahead and plastered these pages, which looks, I think, pretty cool. It's fun to work in on um, those types of papers. But on this larger one, I concentrated more with um, the fabrics and with also mixed media paper. So that is what is inside of this particular journal. And you'll see how we put this together also. So I think it's pretty comprehensive in that we're going to be making several types of journals. Also, we're going to be uh, showing you how to do some casting on some molds. And here are some examples of some of the things I did with the, um, with the plaster. And um, I think um, no matter what it is that you like to do artistically, I think you might find a way to adapt this um, plaster workshop to work into whatever type of uh, work you enjoy uh, doing with your with your craft. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, I don't think. I know it's going to be a lot of fun. And I'm going to put together a Facebook group so that we can post pictures and encourage one another. 
and if you have any additional questions sometimes I might go on and do a live just in that in that group so I can answer some questions and maybe uh, show you some additional things to do if you are not on Facebook well then if you have questions you can always contact me through uh, my email all right so I hope you come and join us with um, you know all the fun and figure out all the different things that you can do with plaster paper and fabric <laughs>